pretty nice. That is pretty nice. Well, all right, y'all. Welcome back to the show. Uh, so we're going to do an unboxing and setup today of this. So this is a cot in a bag. Um, it is the Kijaro Native Ultralight Cot. Let's see, made with 100% recycled reprieve polyester fabric, <laughs> has vegan leather trim, uh, 7075 aircraft raw aluminum frame, shot cord design for ease of assembly, uh, the carrying bag, 250 pound weight capacity. Uh, this is kind of heavy, even though it's small, it's four and a half or 4.85 pounds. And it opens up to 75.6 inches long, 27.6 inches wide, and it is six inches high off the ground. So I picked this up at Walmart surprisingly I saw this a couple days ago and I thought about it and uh, I figured for some future trips that I'm planning that this if it works nice uh, will be great instead of um, carrying around something like uh, inflatable mattress or something hopefully this is more comfortable uh, but we shall see so I'm gonna get this thing taken out and set up um, and this says it is Hawksbill Crag green this is the color of it. Um, yeah, I pop this open. See what's all in this bag here. I don't know if you can tell. Fold it up nicely in there. I have not taken it out. Hopefully, I can get it back into the bag. So it doesn't look like there are any instructions out here, but it may be in there or maybe it's just so simple that it'll be easy to set up. There we have our actual cotton fabric. And these look like they are the side poles, which they are. Okay, so no instructions or anything on here. I think this is going to be pretty simple. No instructions on this tag or anything like that. Uh, the bag is nice. It's a nice, nice canvas bag. It's got a nice leather uh, emblem on there, logo. We'll set that off to the side. So these, I assume, are separate. Yeah, these are going to be your legs. So you'll pop these guys out like so. That's going to go on the bottom. Probably those will sit on the ground. And then these are going to be your side pieces that stick into here. So you have multiple legs. Looks one, two, three, four, five. And then we've got the cot here. So I'm gonna move the camera and we'll get this thing set up. And then I'll probably set my other cot up just to kind of give you a side-by-side -side comparison of the one that I have used previously and you may have seen on some of the episodes before. So let's get this cracking, I guess. Okay, so hopefully you guys can kind of see what I'm doing down here. Hopefully I've got everything in frame. Oh, breaking my toes. All right, so we've got all our legs here. We've got our side pieces. I'm gonna get these guys all unfolded, I guess. like your typical tent poles. Got this stuff. Oh, there's instructions on the canvas. Okay, so it looks like we need to slide our long poles through small hole stick that in there that's a good thing I guess and it's gonna go through the whole length of this thing
imagine this would be another small one down here. Only one side. Only one side actually has a hole in it, I guess. Oh, and it kind of goes in all the way. And probably it's pushed up like that. Yeah. So on the end of this here, there's a hole. I don't have a lot of room. There's a hole to slide this in, but the hole is down at the bottom. So uh, the pole is actually going to come up to the top and sit inside like that. Go ahead and stick this other one in. It's gonna be the same process. Once again, I don't have much room right here. All my junk everywhere. I'm going a little faster. I'm gonna push that all the way in there and kind of pull it up so it sits inside of that. And then it looks like these will just pop in. We've got these clips here. We'll just clip it all on. We'll just do one side at a time. And these are probably gonna bow a little bit, maybe. We shall see. Be a little bit difficult okay so it kind of shows it shows them picking this thing up turn it around here and it says with enough upward pulling that you'll be able to pop that in there there we go and it kind of bows a little bit on the bottom. Hopefully you guys are seeing that. So we need to have a little bit of strength to pop that in there. So there is a little side pocket on the cot here that you can put stuff in. It's got two little pockets for you to put your phone and whatnot down there, I guess. Keep stuff off the floor. That is attached to the cot. Um, on the bottom here, you can see how everything goes on there. Uh, not sure what these Velcro things are for, if you need to wrap that up. But you have little instructions on the bottom here. Um, this is all nice leather. The sewing seems really nice. I mean, it seems like it's decent quality. You've got another leather patch on the top here. And let's get on this thing. It's pretty nice, y'all. It is pretty nice. Hopefully you guys can see me down here. I feel like this will be much more comfortable than, a, than your typical air mattress, a cheaper air mattress. And I'll be easy, it'll be easy to carry around. Yeah, that's not bad at all, not bad at all. So much lower to the ground than your typical cot. Normally, if I sleep in a smaller tent or like when I went motorcycle camping, I would take along an air mattress and that would barely fit in my tent. <laughs> That's right here. So there's my old motorcycle camping tent. Uh, this should fit inside of it. If not, we'll see. Uh, but typically I would carry around a big air mattress and this looks like it'll be a whole lot easier to carry around. It's lightweight and uh, not quite as big. So let's set this other one up. Uh, we'll give you a size comparison, I guess. This is an Ozark Trail Cot, folding camp cot. This is a 
lot heavier. Obviously, the size of this bag, you're not going to be able to carry this around uh, in a backpack like you would be able to with that one. There we go. So, you can see they're roughly the same size mats there. That one is just way taller, but this should be very, very easy to carry around. Uh, like I said, leather on the ends there. You've got a little pocket here. It's got nice branding on it. Overall, it seems like it's pretty nice. guys we got it I took it back down I put the other one away now I guess the test is to see if we can get it back in the bag this I think was folded in half first maybe and then fold it up it was not rolled up so that was folded a different direction maybe it was folded in half this way first Trying to follow the fold marks on here. Seems pretty close. Maybe another fold in it. Maybe more like that. I think that'll work. So it set up and came down very quickly, very easily. I believe. This is a similar design to a lot of other ones that are on the market. So I don't think it's breaking any like design barriers with how this thing works and sets up. Um, is it what I consider really ultralight? Weighing in at what, close to six pounds did I say? Uh, close to five pounds, just under five pounds. Um, so it is a little bit heavy, but depending on what you're doing, this may be the best thing to carry around. Um, you don't need an air pump or anything like that in order to use it and not sleep right on the ground. So like I said, this might be the part that's a little bit more difficult. Getting some of this stuff in here, right? Yeah, these fold all right, not perfectly flat though. Just took a couple of these in. about my squeaky desk it's desk it's just a table with a sheet over the top of it guys keeping it classy Maybe I should have put some of the feet down the other way no it looks like it's all going to go in there pretty easily there we go Almost had it. Stick it on this side. Almost punched myself in the face. There we go. Well, all back in the bag pretty easily I think this thing is gonna work great I'm pretty excited for this guys I think this will work a lot better than the air mattress and air pump that I had been taking around with me to use in that small tent uh, that other cot is too tall to fit in that tent because of how the sides come in uh, this one should fit uh, but we'll see 
so I'm gonna get this thing out and I'm gonna use it in the next video. I've got something a little different planned. So I guess stay tuned for the next adventure, guys. I'll see you in a bit.